and welcome to Scott's Inverts, the vlog, which is basically what we do on a daily basis in between making the other videos and filming for the other videos, although I am filming for a video now. But anyway, just some of the stuff that we get up onto the daily basis. So let's get on with it. Check this out. Channel members' names are now going um, up on the racking. Check that. Bom, 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 bom. So I've, I was going to write them on, but if you've ever seen the state of my writing, you'll understand why I've chose to use a printed label instead. But today what we're doing is, my god, check out this, Ooh, my god, look at all that mould, that is my P. Rufius sling in there, um, it's been in there, it's actually been in there since the word go, but it has now obviously got absolutely infested with mould. Now there is a train of thought that says they get mould in burrows, they get mould in the wild. Don't worry about it too much. But our spiders are in captivity. That is an enclosed space. So all the spores, um, anything that the mould or mushrooms even produce that goes into the air, it's going to be highly concentrated and then obviously affect your tarantulas um, breathing. Yeah, that's my theory behind it. Let me know what yours is down in the comments. So I am literally going to grab the spider out, redo that enclosure. Yeah, so let's get on with that. So guys, let's take the lid off. Um, try and find this P. Rufus. I'm going to have to destroy all its webbing. Let the malt down there. So let's just nip in there. Have a look. Destroy the webbing. Get the tweezers down there. Some of that off. Is it in there? No, not in there. Um, I've put this little box around it just in case it decides to do a runner. But I cannot see it for love nor money. There is actually two malts in there. God, I hope it's not in that piece of webbing here. No, it's not in there. We'll put that just down there though, just in case. Maybe, I think it's maybe created a little burrow sort of down the bottom of here. So I'm going to pull that piece out. Have a look. Oh, there it is, just down the bottom. That is superb. See it? Just there. That makes it quite easy to get out actually. So this is the P. Rufus. Tiny catch cup. No, the tiny catch cup is too big for what I want to do. So let's see if we can't find a smaller one. That piece of cork bark, by the way, this one, uh, because it's got all that mold on, I am actually just going to throw that uh, just to stop it re-emerging. But this is all coir down there again. And I do find a massive problem with coir, which is it gets mould really, really quickly. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you have the same issue with this stuff. So move that to the side, new world spider. Go on, just do what we want you to do. Yeah, you're in. That is fantastic. See the toe alone there? That is from Easter, because it's uh, today's actually uh, bank holiday. Monday. And there is the Rufus. All nice and secure. Fortunately, the camera is uh, focusing on the outside of the plastic. But there he or she is. So what we need to do now is off camera, I'm going to take this out, give it a good, good clean, and then take it from there. So guys, now it is all nice and clean. 
rinsed out really really well I'm gonna actually put quite a generous amount of um, soil down the bottom because previously he or she had burrowed so I want to create that again so if it wants to burrow down there again it certainly can do uh, the soil that I'm using is Levington's uh, seed and cutting compost which all those nasty chemicals it's got none of those in no pesticides or anything like that and if you're in the UK currently you can get two packs of it for a fiver out of Tesco there we are knocking the camera miles out of the way but yeah I'm literally gonna put about three inches of soil in there just lightly tapping it down as a go, not too much, uh, so the spider can carry on burrowing. And then what I like to do is just sprinkle the top with some loose. Uh, the loose is in case the spider wants to create a burrow or wants to climb up the court part and take some of the soil with it. It can do really, really easy. Um, another great thing about your paintbrush is all this soil around the edge, you can just clean it off with that, dead, dead simple. But this is like the stuff that I get get up to um, on a daily basis, rehousing, cleaning, visiting uh, shops and all the rest of it. That's what these vlogs are going to be all about. So we're just going to push that down. I haven't got a round piece of cork bark. Um, it didn't have one in before, but that there, oh, it's moved there and up in that corner is where it's going to web up, feel safe and be nice and happy. Or at the very base of that is where the rufus is going to be um, making its den. So now, please dude, please don't just run off, just go straight in there like a good spider. Oh, and it flew in. Absolutely flew in. Not quite sure if it dropped, but it is just there. Put the lid back on. This one hasn't got a label on it, so I'm gonna have to print a label off, put that on there as well. Uh, and then we should be all set. Uh, good to go. What we'll do is just give it a quick spray down. What I do with this one is, uh, like I do with all the slings, is give one of the walls uh, the sl slightest of spray once a week so the tarantula has got some warp where to drink from and then you see these little holes in the side of the court bark I like to fill those up with water as well then if it comes up got a little drink uh, the smaller sling pots I put tattoo pots in and I find that does really really well but yeah that is the Rufus rehousing and guys what we've got here this is the Assassin Heights let me just show you there's two of the assassins, they're Pistolia Herodia, so they are the king spiny assassin bugs. This big me's passive piece of court bark here, there's loads in the top of there. So the reason I've opened this is because in here is five, five more babies. These were dropped off to us by Danny O'Sullivan, so massive thank you to Danny and his missus, Danielle, for these guys. So again, this is just something that you don't normally see um, what I'm getting up to. One's gone straight in. Two's in. There's number three. I, th I, think, I think these are one of the coolest inverts. Go on, fella. There's three. It's four and five are just there. So what we're going to do with those, take the tissue paper off and out. There's another one and another one. Double check that tissue paper um, it did say there were five but always check just in case but a big massive thank you to Danny. Uh, where, are those, where are those five just gone? They got in there and literally just vanished. Wow. Um, while we've got it open I'll give it a quick spray down. What this water does is it does help your assassin bugs to think it's breeding season. 
uh, just keep that floor slightly damp. In fact, I'd say I'd sp I'd say spray more water on the floor than what you do around the rest of the enclosure to keep that humidity up. And when that floor is nice and damp, the assassin bugs are a bit more keen to breed, a bit more keen to lay their eggs. So, what we're going to be doing next? Right, guys, what else are we going to be doing? Well, Mr. Moody, our frog, well, one of the frogs, I should say, in here is our, um, is our frog, for the life of me, I can't remember what it is. Pac-Man frog, oh my god, my memory is just literally going. I'm going to get Mr. Moody, our Pac-Man frog, down, give him a quick feed. He is moody, but he normally always munches food pretty, pretty well, so let's grab him down. Feed him quick time. So there is Mr. Moody, Mr. Grumpy. See if he'll have one of those. Go on, mate. You want to grit that before it starts burrowing? As soon as that thing starts burrowing, mate, you ain't going to get it. Okay, so we'll pull it out. Whoa, nearly had me. Okay, so if that's how you want it. Go on, mate. Oh, don't eat my tongs, eat this. It's right there. Not the tongs, this. Did he have it? God knows. <laughs> Keep going for the tongs. My word, the world of inverts, eh? But there it is. How are you missing it? <laughs> hey, there you go. My God, you can... Today is Tuesday, so we are now preparing for the live. As you can see, I made a bit of a mess last night, so I've got to clean all that up. We are in the kitchen, so just behind me over there, Tara is cooking din dins nice and early so we can smash that before the 8 p.m. live. Um, if you've never joined the live before, it's on 8 p.m. on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. UK time. So to find out what we're doing next, let's have a look. Okay, challenge him now, I'm gonna take his salad. And today is now Wednesday. We did the live last night. We started at 8 p.m. every single Tuesday. Um, but yeah, I look like I've had a fight with a pizza. I haven't. I've been at work. Literally just come back from work. Um, we've had a couple more channel members, so we're putting those stickers with their names up on the racking. Pride of police. But yeah, that is the end of the this week's vlog. Um, what I'm about to do now is prep and organise the um, Lavender Reptiles giveaway for the UK. Um, so that video is going to be coming out this week. Um, but yeah, um, Noah is now one. It's his first birthday today. Um, it seemed literally yesterday where I made that little video um, of sort of going to the hospital and then the stresses of having a child in lockdown was absolutely a nightmare. Um, tomorrow, Thursday, will be interesting. Um, I'm going for my COVID vaccination and I've heard my arm hurts, I've heard it makes you feel sick, it gives you a headache. If I feel ill and rough, there's probably a likelihood that I won't get the video out this week. Um, so wish me luck for tomorrow. And as always, guys, we shall see you again on the next one. Remember to like this video if you're liking the vlogs. Comment down below if you love me lots and lots. And thank you so much for watching.